What's going on guys, Josh Pogok here. And on this channel, we've covered many different perplexity alternatives such as Open Perplex, Perplexica, Local Search, LLM Answer Engine, Morphic, Stanford Storm AI. We've covered perplexity recently with their new AI spaces and internal rag features with web searching. But OpenAI just released their new chat GPT search feature where OpenAI is now trying to directly compete with perplexity as well as Google. This feature has been made available to plus and enterprise users as well as even free users that were on the search GPT waitlist. We're going to dive into it today, show you how you can use it to get the most effective results possible, go over all the different features. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so almost half a year ago in July, OpenAI released the Search GPT prototype where they were testing out Search GPT and they rolled it out to some select users. But officially now, they actually launched their new ChatGPT search. All right, so I'll leave a link down below to their official blog post so you can check that out if you want. And it honestly seems like OpenAI only releases new features sometimes when they are forced to by their competitors. We saw Claude recently release computer use feature and now recently they launched their new Claude desktop feature, but quite frankly, Search GPT or this ChatGPT search functionality is really good and really powerful and I'm excited to show you guys right now. All right, so this is the interface that we're starting off with so pretty similar to what you would be used to the only real difference is you will now see this little search icon so you're going to want to toggle it on so it is blue and then you will see these little prompts down below to search for different things perhaps like the play store trump news mark cuban etc we're going to go ahead and search for something real quick let's go ahead and search for give me images of dubai so you can see it is searching images and it is pulling images from dubai here so we could go ahead and click on these images and we would see a nice little carousel view. All right, so we can flip through all the different images here and then we can exit out. We can also see where that image's source is from. So if you wanna click on that website, you could check it out. And then it also gives you a description of some of the different areas that we asked for. We can see the sources right here, Getty Images, Unsplash, Pexels, and you can either click on these citations right here to open up the site. Like if I click here, it's opening up Unsplash right here to see those images. Or you can click on sources down here. And this is where you will see all the different citations of that search. So we can see the three main ones that it used and then all the different results that it pulled. So you can also use this to ask it about recent news. So if we ask it, what's the most recent OpenAI news? And here we have it that OpenAI introduced a web search capability within chat gpt enabling the ai assistant to provide real-time information with source citations now we can see the three main sources right here the verge ap news and then if we click here we can see those sources again now of course you can ask it follow-up questions such as tell me all about this feature in depth all right so it did some more searches here and now it is telling us about the feature in depth we can see the key features right here the access and accessibility availability you can see the technical aspect, the user interaction, the implications and future directions. And then of course, like I said, we can see the sources right here. So this one, it mainly used this Verge source right here. And you can see all the different ones that it pulled. So now what's cool is we have, you know, this context within this chat of the information that it searched for. Let's say we wanted to do another search and we wanted to take this information that search GPT pulled from the web and we want to let's say create content with it we can say make a 60 second tiktok script with this information okay and now we can see it generated a tiktok script using this specific information that it pulled from the web all right i'm not going to read through it all but you can see here ever wish your ai assistant could fetch real-time info well now it can cut to recording screen of chat gpt interface OpenAI has upgraded ChatGPT with web search feature, right? So this is very useful stuff. Now also too, of course, you could ask it, search for the top short form content script frameworks to go viral and then regenerate the script, but better. All right, so in this one, you can see the sources are, you know, 10 best short form content ideas to inspire you, um, how to write a video script, steal my formula, 
you know, how to create short form viral videos. So realistically, just like anytime you're prompting GPT or, um, you know, really any sort of AI model, you're going to want to be specific with your prompts. All right. Because this is how you're dictating it, what it actually should search for. Now we can do another search here, such as what are the best Chinese food places in Toronto? All right. So as you can see, it pulled up a nice map in the UI right here. We can see Toronto. We can see the different food restaurants like so we can toggle between them. We can see a description if they're closed or open. We can see their reviews, all the different information, directions, website, call, really cool stuff. And then we can see, you know, a little description on it all. Of course, we can see the sources right here, like the 16 best restaurants for Chinese food in Toronto. And the one thing I will say about um, search GPT or whatever, you know, chat GPT web, whatever you want to call it, is it has a really nice clean UI. And that is something to, um, you know, definitely distinguish itself between some of the other competitors like Google or even Perplexity, you know, where it may be a little bit more cluttered or there may be a little bit more going on, right? So if we go here and click on list, we can see a list view of these, uh, you know, uh, restaurants as well. So we can see Roll sand restaurants, all the different ones, and I think that's pretty awesome. Now let's go ahead and ask it what was the weather for the last week. Okay, so we can see it pulled all the different weather, uh, you know, the minimum temperature, the maximum temperature for the last week. Put it into a table here. Okay, we could also ask it what's the forecast for this week for Toronto, and we can see here we even have these nice little images here, these icons. We can see today cloudy in this morning and then some clouds and then sun the afternoon saturday sunday and we can see all these cool little icons now another way you can also use search gpt is either you know using gpt 40 or using the auto mode now if you're using auto then auto will basically use whatever model it thinks is best for you know speed and intelligence and what type of query you're doing so if we ask it the stock price of microsoft currently it's going to automatically know that it needs to do a search. So it's searching the web right here and it is giving us a nice graph right here where we can see the actual stock price by the day, the different time frames, the month, the year to date, the year, five year time frame, etc. Like I said, the UI here is definitely something that is very important. This for me is something that like when I'm using a search tool, you want a nice UI and I think they definitely um, did a good job with the UI here. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI powered appointment setters that work 24 seven, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. All right, now I'm going to ask it, what's the current uh, standings for NHL Hockey League? All right, and as we can see here, the NHL standings right here as of November 1st, we have the Panthers, Lightning, all the different win, loss, you know, the different points, etc. And we can see all the different teams. We even have their nice logos right here. So pretty cool stuff. Now, the one thing I will say, guys, is anytime you're using even stuff like Search GPT or Perplexity or whatever the case may be, even we saw a lot with Google and, you know, some people were complaining with the whole Google um, AI at the top <clears throat> is it's not always going to be 100% accurate. So always make sure that you are, especially if you're using this for, um, you know, business related purposes or, you know, actually making decisions off of it, make sure you're fact checking things, make sure you're actually looking at the citations sometimes because not all the time will they get it correct. All right, so here's another question. Give me an in-depth background on Sam Altman and OpenAI and exactly how it was founded and with who. Okay, so here it didn't use search, so we're actually just going to use GPT-40 here. So if it's not a very explicit thing that it needs to search for, sometimes the auto won't pick it up and it will just use the training data. So sometimes you're going to want to actually specify search here and as we can see, we got a background on Sam Altman. We have the different citations here. 
Okay, so, sometimes it will automatically pull in the images here. Like if I say pull in images. All right, so here I can say pull in images here and it will pull in some images and we can see the background on Sam Altman, OpenAI. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with, you know, how uh, Search GPT compares to stuff like Perplexity or Google, just if we look from a UI standpoint, here is, of course, um, Search GPT. And then if we go to Perplexity, here is the difference. So Perplexity, you can see it says where knowledge begins and ChatGPT says, what can I help you with? And we can, you know, toggle this. There's, there's a few different options here. Now, the one thing that I think Search GPT should should add is being able to um, have this hybrid search that uh, Perplexity just added, where you can attach your documents, you can train it on your internal rag for like your company or whatnot, and then you'll be able to toggle on searching through the web as well as your organization files. And that has been a very very powerful feature that I found. Now I'll still be using both of these tools. Between both of them, I think they probably have their own pros and cons. For example, I really do like how Perplexity allows you to use all these different models. So I can use some of the search functionality with Claude Sonnet 3.5, whereas Claude doesn't actually at the moment have any search functionality built in, which they definitely should work on that um, hopefully soon. Whereas Search GPT, on the other hand, has a clean, sleek, and fast UI. So Search GPT tends to be a little bit faster, and I've seen a lot of people mention this. Now that is good in some ways, but you know, also too, you know, you really have to look at the quality. And um, they, I, I mean, I'd say as of now, I haven't seen a huge difference in quality. I will have to use both of these apps a lot more to be able to really tell. But one thing I will say with Perplexity, and just like we've seen with these O1 models, these reasoning models, just because something takes longer, it could actually mean that it's thinking or reasoning or, for example, with perplexity, you have this pro mode where it will do multiple different query searches for something you ask it. So if I ask it, hey, um, you know, what's the best way to build a business in 2024 in the e-commerce space? Tell me different, you know, examples and blah, blah, blah. If I want an in-depth response, it will actually do different queries and do different searches to be able to pull multiple results. I've had, you know, perplexity queries and searches where it's pulled like 30 different, you know, uh, citations. Whereas as of now, it seems like OpenAI's search GPT is only pulling a maybe like 10 or, you know, however many search uh, citations, which um, is still good, but for maybe more complex queries or things that you're doing research for perplexity is really powerful and that's definitely not to count out google i think google is definitely somewhat underrated you know we have seen different fumbles with google with their releases you know in the public eye but we can't forget that google is really the powerhouse in when it comes to search and as well as ai too they are definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with especially with ai agents integrated into the whole google and g suite ecosystem um, that is something that google has a huge advantage over so it's going to be interesting to see how these tools compete with each other and the releases going forward you know throughout the rest of the end of this year as well as 2025 so other than that guys that's pretty much it for some of the tips and tricks and the features that we've seen with search gpt and how you should actually use it let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below between OpenAI's new search features versus perplexity versus you know google or who do you think is actually going to win when it comes to ai search other than that guys if you're new here to the channel we upload videos every single day on ai automation marketing sales business growth so if you like that type of content you got some value here make sure to smash the like button comment down below and subscribe to stay up to date with the daily uploads also too guys check out our community down below stridecommunity.com our free facebook group free discord channel as well as our other free community where i'm going to be posting a bunch of free resources that we do from these videos so check that out and then if you guys do run a business and you need help with marketing sales systems implementing ai ai engines into your business like ai cold callers ai appointment setters whatever the case may be definitely check out the first link in the description and book a call with myself and we can see if it is a fit or not to help scale your business business other than that i will see you in tomorrow's video guys keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care